I decided it would be cool to talk about things other than books. So I'm going to do a thing where I make some coffee and chat about life stuff. Today I want to talk about online school because I don't know about you guys but I hate online school. I'm a junior in college and kind of really went through it those first couple of years, not gonna lie. So I've had my fair share of experiences, good and bad, but it does mean I know a thing or two about how traumatic college can be. So I was not excited to go online for spring quarter because historically online school does not go well for me because I'm just terrible at remembering to do things and kind of had to do some very specific planning. And in doing so, I had a pretty good quarter. Alright, so the first tip I wrote down was to create a specific schedule. For me, the big reason I was super scared to do online school was because, again, like going to class is like a really big accountability thing for me. But when it's online, it's hard to do that. So what I did is I emailed all my professors. You don't have to do this part. I'm just crazy. Um, I emailed all my professors and asked like what their plans were, if they were going to be doing classes like during the class period time like on zoom or if it's going to be recorded lectures that we could watch whenever we want and like more self-paced and so that way um first the classes that had recorded lectures and was all going to be self-paced in the morning like during the class time i didn't want to do all my lectures during then because like that was a really good homework time for me so i just decided that like monday nights at a specific time were going to be when i would watch my lectures just make sure like your entire schedule is focused around when your class time is going to be or when you're going to do your lectures or when your like study time is where you can like have a specific place that you can go like a specific room get all the siblings and pets out of there it is like taken as seriously as like going to class would be you know second tip is to make a routine it's way easier to just like not go to class when it's online because you're like I don't want to go to school so I'm just like not gonna turn my laptop on and just lay in bed I know what he likes online school huh? if it's morning class like I got up and made coffee and then made like a breakfast sandwich and then like got all settled in to do my class and then afterwards I do some homework and then go to work kind of took away the stress of being like I'm at home and I have to do my school this sucks like the same thing as like getting up and getting ready to go to school like do that. If you're upset because you can't wear cute outfits to school anymore, get up and wear cute outfits to your laptop. You know, who says you can't? The third tip is don't be afraid to talk to your teachers. I know this is like hard sometimes when people, like I go to a really small school so it's really easy to like get to know your professors and sometimes at a really big school it's harder to do that. It is so important to make sure that like you know how to ask for help when you need it. For the most part professors are as like new to online stuff as you are. So like if you're having tech issues, if like weird stuff is happening in your life, just like talk to them. It's not like, you know, being a bad student to do that. An example for me is like at the end of spring quarter, like during finals was when everything was happening with like the protests. I know there was one day after I'd been to a protest where I was like so emotionally drained and usually I can power through assignments. I had to email my teacher and be like, I can do this tomorrow morning. I just like can't right now but more often than not teachers will be really understanding of that because they're living in the same world you are they know how it be um, and then number four is just to make sure that you're not losing those connections that make going to school and class and like college so beneficial things like office hours or study groups you can't really do that as easily online but it's like so important to make sure that like you make yourself do that if you need it like you know it takes a little bit more effort and scheduling just like email your teacher and be like i need help with this assignment or like can you talk with me about this thing like do that because that is so helpful and also make sure that you're maintaining those connections with your teachers which is like so helpful for your future and the same things goes with like study groups and like studying with friends for me studying with friends was like a really big accountability thing as well so you can still do that when you're going to online school you know just set up a zoom call skype your friend while you're reading you don't need to chat it up if that's distracting for you then maybe don't do that but like i know for a lot of people that's something that they're really going to miss out on is like hanging out with your friends and going to study groups and stuff but like find a way to do that and the last tip is I don't know kind of stupid maybe but it's just like get yourself excited like 
Obviously, if you don't like online school, then it's going to be kind of hard to get excited for school. Find like a way to get yourself amped for it. And so this means like maybe getting those schools. It's so loud. Like getting new school supplies. Like maybe you get like a new laptop cover, fun notebooks that like work well with the classes you're doing, or you get like a lap desk thing or like you make a cute little study area or redo your desk i don't know whatever it is like make yourself actually excited to start going to class i mean i don't i got so much more done like outside of school so much more time to like read that was like really really nice and like knowing i could do that helped me kind of get excited for school and excited for online school which is like a weird and hard thing to do for me whatever that is like plan ahead Think about what tends to get you excited and find a way to work around that. Like at the end of the day, it's one quarter. And so that one quarter shouldn't have to define like the rest of your school career. You don't want to let like obstacles, like everything going on, get in the way between you and having like a really positive experience. You just kind of have to reshape how you think about a positive experience and take it out of the confines of like what you usually consider a positive experience to be if that makes sense how am i gonna pour this i did not think through this at all oh god i just spilled <laughs> figure out yourself like make sure you know yourself make sure you got a good self relationship going on there and don't feel bad to ask for help or talk to people if there's anything i've learned in the last few years is that it is okay to ask for what you need to advocate for yourself, whether that is to teachers, to managers, to friends. And this is actually like, can be a really awesome opportunity to like learn a lot about yourself and the environments you're in and like the effect that has on you. So it doesn't have to be as scary as it sounds. Yeah, that's about all I got. Bye.